Not often someone can say they're the first in the world to do something, but a group of doctors at the U of M are the first to use bone marrow transplant treatment to treat an incredibly rare disorder among children. And Fox 9's Hannah Flood shows us how this treatment could be saving lives, especially for the first two kids in the world to get it. Break that! Like typical brother and sister. Ow, that hurt! Ten-year-old Grace and eight-year-old Grant like to get under each other's skin. What's not typical is an extremely rare genetic condition they both have. So what happens is that if the body isn't able to clear waste like it should. Their mom, Tanya Gooden, explains their condition, multiple sulfatase deficiency, is so rare there are only around 150 reported cases worldwide. And most kids diagnosed don't ever make it to their teenage years. There were no treatments at all. You know, we're basically told there's nothing available, there's nothing, like, I mean, nothing. Last year at a medical conference, the Goodens met a doctor from the University of Minnesota who thought bone marrow transplants used to treat different kinds of disorders could be used to treat kids living with MSD. So this is a rare inherited disorder. It's, it's literally one in a million. And there's, there's no therapy available for this disorder. But Dr. Paul Orchard at the M Health Fairview University of Minnesota Masonic Children's Hospital wanted to try the experimental bone marrow transplant on both Grace and Grant. And while it's early, he says the results look promising. The University of Minnesota has been one of the first places to use blood stem cell transplant for a number of these rare disorders. And that, that goes back 30 plus years. So we're still learning about how transplant might be able to help. Being the first in the world to try something, especially at such a young age, was a big deal for the Gooden family. Our hope is that this transplant, you know, improves longevity. I mean, is our biggest hope. And they hope what they learned from this first ever treatment can help other families find longevity too. If, if our transplant can work for us and if it can work for other families, it'll truly be a dream come true. In Minneapolis, Hannah Flood, Fox 9.